Okay, we're going to try this in Spanish. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Oh, wow. You guys are bilingual already. <laughs> Good morning. Um, buenos dias. My name is Nuris Camargo, and I was one of the regional field organizers for the Obama campaign, and I am still fired up. Okay? Woo! Yes. Very good. Yeah. I have the honor to introduce the next panelist. And let me just tell you how organized we are. They gave me my speech and everything. Okay? <laughs> Our first panel brings together community organizers and other experts in civic engagement to discuss the importance of the grassroots movement that grew out of the Obama campaign and how we can harness that energy and keep people active and engaged. To moderate what is sure to be a lively discussion of these points, these important issues, we are excited to welcome Sarah Ann Shaw. Ms. Shaw is a well-known and path-breaking television journalist and activist. In 1969, she became Boston's first African-American television reporter for Channel 4. And I also spoke to someone on the sideline, and they said, Nudis, do you know her? And I said, no. She said, he said, she's awesome. So I am very honored to be introducing um, our panelists, but also Sarah Ann Shaw. Thank you. I think what we're trying to do is important, not just for nationally, but as Marshall said, locally. Change has to happen here as well as around the country. I'm going to introduce the panelists and then we're going to get started. Uh, going to my right and your left, Sarah Compton, Massachusetts State Field Director, Obama Campaign, Marshall Gantz, who you've already heard from. And you know, there's information about all the people in your packet so you can read more about them. Juan Leighton, who is the director of Neighbor to Neighbor. I have to lean forward to, oh. Ethan Nguyen, who is a, oh, <laughs> <laughs> You know, I just got this stuff this morning, so you have to bear with me. Ar software architect, Echo Ditto, there's a lot of stuff with the internet and et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> you like that, Ethan? <laughs> and, and last but not least, Alan Casey, who I met when he was co-founder of City Year, and he now is with founder of Be The Change, Inc. I'm going to make sure that we stay on time for this panel so i'm going to give everyone two minutes right now to answer a couple of questions from your vantage point what was special about the obama grassroots campaign movement and what lessons did you learn particularly did you learn from the campaign you start with your um, what was special most of all was the inspiring candidate that we had, um, which I think we can all agree on. I think uh, one of the things that, that really, I think, made the grassroots so powerful was that people were made to feel that they were absolutely necessary to this campaign. They were very, very empowered. It was, it was really important to do that, and I think everybody who was involved felt that what they were doing was, was crucial to getting Barack Obama elected. And, um, I think that that was very inspiring and motivating to people. And I think the other thing that's special is, is uh, what's, what we're seeing here today is that people want to keep this moving, that it's not just that you elected a candidate, but that you feel so strongly about that candidate that you want to do everything you can to support the candidate once he's in office. And I think that's probably unprecedented at the, at the level of, of this campaign and our, and this, and our president. Uh, should I have a word? Um, I would say I'm going to speak to Massachusetts because it was kind of a different animal. Um, <laughs> we, uh, we're not a red state, we're a blue state. And I think the tendency is to think, oh, that's Massachusetts. We don't need to worry about Massachusetts because we know everything's going to be fine there. Um, but the fact is, I think over time it became really clear that we needed more staff and more resources here because of the potential there was to help in other places. And, you know, typically we help in, in New Hampshire, and I think by the end of this campaign, because um, we had so many resources, we were able to help in a lot of other places that um, we haven't always helped in before. Um, I think the, the, some of the things that we learned in Massachusetts were that, well, a lot of people were kind of 
not thinking about Massachusetts. We decided we had to get organized before I was even on staff um, with some really amazing people that we couldn't wait for direction, that you should never ever wait to organize. There's no, there's no wrong way to organize and that you should just get going and do it. And, and that's what happened. Um, we empowered people and I would say that we organized the state as if it mattered. Um, sometimes we would have to stop and remember that it really, we weren't really um, in a fight here in Massachusetts, but we were able to get more people um, to other states and to reach voters, more voters across the country because we were so well organized here. And um, I think that's a really important lesson that it's not about sending blast emails out from the headquarters to get people to New Hampshire. It's about building a local organization and having other people talk to each other and, and encourage them to, to help in this campaign. And I think that was really crucial. And I hope that that's my motivation for wanting to continue working with people here so that um, we have that organization here and we, we keep it going for forever. <laughs>